Here's the Deputy Liberal Leader, Susan Lee. Susan, thanks for your time this morning. Good to see you as always. So these natural disaster areas have been declared, 23 local government areas. Your government was at times criticised in these sorts of disasters for, pe for being too slow. Has Labor done it better and faster? Pete, my thoughts today are with all those who are affected by the floods, 50,000 residents under evacuation orders or having already left their homes and the opposition received a detailed briefing from emergency services in the state government yesterday and will be talking to Emergency Management Australia today. So flood victims are absolutely front and centre of our thoughts. Look, I'm concerned that disaster recovery payments and the disaster recovery allowance, which is that immediate help that you can get from Services Australia, has not been made available. And yes, there's been talk of that state Commonwealth Agreement, which in my experience helps small businesses with loans longer term, but that's not what people need now. They need help immediately. They don't need a meeting. They don't need a Commonwealth State Agreement. This can be done by the current government with the stroke of a pen. Have a look on the Services Australia website. There's something about the February floods. There's nothing about the crisis that's happening right now. So um, I need to see action. Right, so, so when the government says that payments are being made available now, that's not the case. Is that what you're saying? Well, some, pay some payments are being made available, but the critical payments are the payments that come from Services Australia that give you $1,000 or $400 to your family, and there's another payment that we introduced, which is $350 a week if you can't go to work. These are the payments that need to be activated and can be activated with the stroke of a pen. Could have been done Sunday, could have been done Monday, could have been done Tuesday. And is, and is that even enough? For, for people especially who, who are now uh, undergoing it for a, for a fourth time? Look, this is awful for people who've gone through this, uh, in some cases, three times. And, you know, it, it's re-traumatising every time this happens for them. The real anxiety. So these emergency payments are the first step, and then the government needs to consider, as, as all governments should, what happens next to best support people who have been through multiple floods, to really protect them, to really make them feel secure. You are a former environment minister, and as we just said, this is the third or fourth flood for some areas in just the past 18 to 24 months, so it keeps on happening. Are you have the view that climate change is responsible for this? Well, climate change increases the risk and the intensity of events like this, but they're always going to be with us. They always have. The issue is how the Albanese government responds, because we know that these events are going to happen. Our weather forecasts are telling us. We know that the critical areas of the Hawkesbury and Appian are going to be affected by floods. So the issue is that people on the ground need to get that support. They need the payments and allowances that the government is able to deliver with the stroke of a pen. They don't need to wait for Mr Albanese to get back and have a look at the regions himself. They need those payments being made today. Should the Prime Minister have been away for as long as he was? Look, it's up to him. I mean, look, there are important international events. We appreciate that. It's up to Mr Albanese to explain to the flood victims what he's doing for them and what his program involves and entails. I heard him having a bit of a grumble that he hadn't had a day off since taking on the Prime Ministership less than two months ago. And I've got news for him. Prime Ministers don't get days off. I saw that over nine years of the last government, having worked with many. So uh, mm. get used to the work rate. So, yeah, so, so you've got no beef with, with, with him going to the events that he went to? Look, there were important international events to attend. However, there are real issues at home and we saw interest rate rises yesterday. And remember, this is a Prime Minister who didn't know what the interest rate was less than two months ago. Uh, Australians can rightly be concerned whether he is the man with the plan, the mm. economic plan, to address the cost of living concerns that they have that you've just outlined on your program. And we've had a lot of the government diagnosing the problem. We seem to get the Treasurer doing that every day. We need to know what the plan is, the management, the control, and again, the reassurance. Because I'm talking to small businesses every day and you know they're bewildered, they're concerned, they're anxious, and they need to know that their government has a plan for them that actually addresses the cost concerns and the cost pressures that they're facing. Back to the floods here, do you or would you like to see the Warragamba Dam wall raised? 
Well, I see that Mr Albanese is talking about a briefing. I mean, that briefing should have been on the table well and truly by now. In fact, it's an issue that's been worked through for many months by uh, different levels of government at state and commonwealth level. And, uh, you know, it's complex. Like all these challenging issues in mm. government, it's in a World Heritage area, um, but communities should be protected. Uh, we shouldn't be tiptoeing around this. Communities need to be protected and they need to know that the mitigation, the flood mitigation that, that, that should happen for them is something the government isn't just waiting to have a briefing on, but actually has a plan. We need the plan. So would you like to see the wall raised though? Can I get an answer on that one? Look, it's got to be worked through, Pete, and it's not, it's not as straightforward as just raising the wall. Right, so what you're, I'm you're, saying you're not, is it's not, been not talked about there. for a long time. It's, it's been talked about for a long time. Come at it from the perspective of protecting the communities that are impacted by floods, and it will land in the right place. OK, Susan Lee, appreciate your time this morning. Thanks for joining us as always. We'll talk to you again next week.